Hello, uh, I'm Pete Jones. I'm a freelance cameraman and uh, editor. Um, I've been Ash's supervisor for the last few weeks, um, so we're just going to make a quick video to show you um, some of the different camera setups and pieces of equipment we've been using and uh, some of the things that uh, hopefully Ash has learned while we've been working together. Hi everybody, my name is Ash Kandanan and as probably you know I'm studying on doing my master course at the moment on MA International Journalism for Professional Media. This is a general setup for the camera. We have been using this camera a lot for the last 15 days. This is a Sony FS700, one of the most complicated camera I have used in the year's time. I'd like to say thank you to Pete. He introduced the camera to me. Really, really love the camera. Quite difficult to work with, but I learned a lot. As you can see on that side of the camera, there are most of the uh, things we can control the camera and this is the best lens I have used in the several years is a zoom lens and it's 18 to 200 lens on EICC we use that camera to recording the whole event for three days and that was the first camera or the main camera we have used we use that uh, recording system or the microphone as a backup bar we have had external extension, sorry, ex extension cable to use in the actually recording the voice to do the voice over or do the events. Tripod is really light tripod, but when you are using it, you have to make sure it's balanced here. As you can see, Pete showed me how to do it. I've done it a few times. I'm quite comfy with that. And the camera is the best one I have used. And then another camera we have used is Canon. Really a small and light camera. We use that for a bookshop uh, event. Really light camera. We can use it on a handheld. Coolest camera I've been introduced to by Pete is called DJI Osmo. As you can see, it's the smallest camera and the most lightest camera you can carry around. If you don't, if you are going to some events or even for news or wedding, even for a wedding or some private party, and you cannot carry the heavy kit like a big cameras or even one of those, I don't know, the camera does need a more spaces you can carry this one. As you can see, that camera can be connected to your mobile phone. It can record it up to 4K, one of the best and lightest camera I've been introduced to. There is a finger button here you can control the camera or even if you move your hand, that part of the camera still balance and as you can see, you can record it. Okay, this is another piece of kit I've been introduced by Pete. As you can see, really handy light. You can use it in a separate tripod if you do have enough spaces on your location. Or even if there is no space on your location, you can have it on top of your camera. And you can, does, doesn't need a cable, it's a battery charge. The another good thing is you, you are in charge of light, so you can change it to the daylight or um, use it outdoor in, indoor. If you are assisting any camera operator, this is one of the bags you may need. Small bag inside, you can have it on your belt. I have had it a few times on my belt, quite heavy but it's useful. Lots of tools inside the bag, torch, knife, pens, markers and the rest of the bag is tapes. Just you need it for to clean the lens and tools, memory cards, spare batteries, cables, and reflector. They're all here. This is uh, probably the most complicated piece of equipment we've been using um, over the few weeks that Ash has been with me. We used this on a on a test shoot for a short film that I'm. Um, going to be a uh, director of photography on later this year. Um, basically, you strip the camera down, um, balance it on all the axis, uh, here, here, and then again along the back. Um, it's probably one of the biggest cameras that you can actually put on the uh, gimbal. It's a DJI Ronin gimbal. We've actually had to extend it here um, because the camera is quite back heavy. The battery is mounted here at the back, so you have to move it a little bit further forward. Um, to balance it in line with the central motor. Um, but once it's balanced, you can just switch it on. Um, the gimbal will find its central point um, 
and then you're free to lift it up and have a nice stabilised um, camera rig. It's, uh, it can be quite tiring to use, um, very heavy, but uh, Ash has certainly been um, uh, certainly progressed uh, in the operating of this thing. He's got bigger muscles than I have, so actually he's probably more suited to it, but um, twist it over like that. Um, and you can really get, get moving very fast on there. You can run along um, tracking um, nice fast spins, and as long as the camera's balanced, you can pretty much do anything with that. Okay, this is a gimbal. It's been used for a few hours during the shot. Quite heavy to carry, but as I'm a big boy, I manage it. I really like it. Because obviously you're in charge of the tripod, and you're in charge of the camera. You can easily walk, and you can see the monitor. Basically, you can do whatever you like with the camera, because you're in charge, and pretty much everything is in your hand. I like that. Beautiful. The position I hold at the moment is called briefcase uh, mode or briefcase position. It's really good if you are making a music video for someone else. If you are chasing people on the street or even if you are next to the driver they're taking a shot when they are driving. I'd like to say a special thank you to Pete who was my supervisor for the last 15 days in Edinburgh and Glasgow. He obviously introduced a few new equipment to me I never used before like DJI, Osmo, the smallest camera you can use on any events or even the handheld cameras using a tripod uh, how to do in the decay on different locations do the pre-production meetings he taught me a lot through pretty much everything you need to know about the camera operator or camera system job and anything you like to add yeah, um, well, like you say, you certainly learned um, quite in depth how to use the different pieces of equipment. Yeah. The stuff that's relevant to fiction, um, live events, yeah. um, corporate, like just different setups for all the different cameras. Yeah. Um, certainly, you know, uh, I'm very pleased with um, the operating you've been doing. Lots of the shots you took, yeah. especially the bookshop launch, we've been using in the in the footage mm -hmm. um, in in the final edits. Uh, overall, uh, really pleased impressed and I, I, I'll certainly be um, asking you back to do yeah, a few more jobs. I'm more than happy to help Pete hopefully on the next few jobs he's gonna have to do in Edinburgh even on Glasgow and I'd like to say a special thank you again. Thanks very much Pete. No problem at all. We hope to keep in touch anyway. Thanks very much for watching this video and please let me know your thoughts and good luck with your future. Good luck with your course and thank you again.